Hi everyone, my name is Cynthia and this is Sandy. Hi. And we're here to tell you about our latest Orbi Mesh system. What has changed since the pandemic, specifically related to Wi-Fi? Well, Wi-Fi was always very critical. Uh, we always say that Wi-Fi is like one of the uh, key utilities in the home. It's like uh, power, it's like electricity, uh, like food or water. And I think with the pandemic, it has become even more critical. Depends on whom you ask, if I ask my teenage son, he will tell you that Wi-Fi is more important than food and water because once he has Wi-Fi, he can always get food and water. But jokes apart, I think this is the key thing in terms of Wi-Fi has really helped us to maintain a sense of structure, to make sure that we can work remotely, that our kids can be connected in terms of going to school, continue their education, be connected with our loved ones that we cannot meet in person. It's all been made possible because of your Wi-Fi connectivity. It's become even more critical, and I think it'll continue as some of these habits that we have gained in terms of hybrid working situation where we are working from office or working from home or working from anywhere, from an Airbnb or from a vacation home, I think that's the new reality. So I think it's become really, really core to um, of our uh, helping us to kind of maintain our life, to maintain, provide that uh, uh, structure in this situation where we've been able to work remotely and still be connected with our loved ones using this Wi-Fi and internet connectivity. Mm -hmm. I can definitely relate to that. Thank you. So tell us about the new Orbi introduction. We introduced our first Orbi mesh system almost five years ago. And that was an industry first that supported a tri-band mesh system. That means it had three different Wi-Fi bands. It had the 2.4, the 5 gigahertz, and then it had the backhaul, uh, which was a dedicated backhaul connecting the router to the satellites. And we have uh, uh, strongly believed that's a great way in terms of making sure that you get the best performance with a mesh system and you can get the same internet speeds that you're getting at one corner of the house from an internet provider throughout your home. So today, I'm very excited to introduce to you another industry first, which is the RB quad band RBK960 series that supports the latest Wi-Fi 6E. Wow, it sounds so innovative. Um, I heard you mention quad band. Can you kind of go into what quad band is and what the benefits are for the customer? Uh, definitely. So typically you have the 2.4 gigahertz and the 5 gigahertz band. And with the new Wi-Fi 6E, and we can talk a little bit more about it, that's a, that's a new Wi-Fi band that has been introduced. So we have three different bands, 2.4, 5, and 6. And then we have this dedicated connection, Wi-Fi, which is dedicated for connection between the router and the satellite. And that's our way to make sure that you can get the same speeds that you're getting at one corner of the house throughout your home. As I mentioned earlier, one of the key issues is in terms of the in-home distribution. Typically, your internet provider is basically providing your internet connection at one side of the home, one corner of the home. How do you make sure that you can get the same speed that you get at one corner throughout your home? Because you're not working in one area. With, especially with the pandemic. I might be working in one room, my kids are in another room, everybody has its own laptops on, or, or my wife is streaming videos and all those things, or I could be sometime be hiding in the backyard or doing work in the garage. So I really want to make sure that if I'm getting whatever internet speed I have, whether it's a gigabit or 500 megabits, I want to make sure that I get the same speed throughout your home. And the only way to do this is to have that dedicated connection. And we do that with that dedicated backhaul, which is the Wi-Fi band, which is dedicated only for connection between the router and the satellite. And this makes sure that whatever speed you're getting on the router, you're also getting on the satellite. So think about, you have to go from here, from San Francisco to LA. Uh, do you want to take the side roads, or do you want to take the highway? Definitely the highway. Yes, and that's exactly what we're doing, is we want to make sure that you have a highway that connects the router to the satellite to make sure that whatever speeds you're getting on one end of the home, you are getting it throughout your home. You don't want that backhaul or that connection to be shared. And that's the key piece that makes Orbi the performance leader in the market. And we have retained that as we have gone from tri-band to quad-band as we support the latest Wi-Fi standards. We retained that backhaul, which is dedicated in terms of getting the best performance from a Wi-Fi mesh system. Thanks for explaining. You also talked about Wi-Fi 6E. Can you tell us more about that? Wi-Fi 6E is the new Wi-Fi spectrum that has been made available uh, for uh, devices, for, for Wi-Fi. 
it's a huge deal because the last time we added any additional spectrum for Wi-Fi was uh, almost 20 years ago. Uh, and, and the best way to talk about spectrum is like you have a highway and you have the bandwidth on which your Wi-Fi data traffic can go. And having that additional, you know, so 2.4 gigahertz is one uh, such Wi-Fi spectrum, 5 gigahertz another spectrum, the 6 gigahertz is the new Wi-Fi spectrum that has been made available. The benefit of this is you currently have a lot of devices in the 5 gigahertz band. As I said, the last time it was introduced was about 20 years ago. So it's pretty congested, there's a lot of interference. So having that additional band is like adding a new 16 lane highway that's available for all your newer devices to get the best speed and the best performance. And the best thing is there's not, no interference there. There are no devices there and it's only there for your newer devices that support Wi-Fi 6 So think of this highway on which you can only have the faster cars and there's no speed limit. So it's a huge step to reduce these issues of congestion, of interference that you have from your neighbors and to get the best speeds on all your devices. This is a key step that will help us resolve this issue of increasing number of devices inside the home. All these applications that we are running in the home streaming, with gaming, with uh, Zoom, and, and making sure that you get the best performance and the best experience with this. Awesome. I can't wait to get on that Wi-Fi 6E highway. Um, I've also heard about Wi-Fi 6. Um, can you tell me a little bit about that and how it's different? So um, Wi-Fi 4, Wi-Fi 5, Wi-Fi 6 are basically technology improvements. So we went from, and there are different names for it, uh, uh, 8 or 11N, 11AC, 11AX, um, they are, they're synonymous with Wi-Fi 4, Wi-Fi 5, and Wi-Fi 6. And these are really technology improvements in terms of how to make Wi-Fi more efficient. Uh, when you move from Wi-Fi 5 to Wi-Fi 6, it basically allowed a device or a, a router to talk to multiple devices at the same time. This is much, much more efficient. But it's not solving the problem in terms of the spectrum or basically the highway. It's the same highway but you're being more efficient. With Wi-Fi 6E, you're adding this additional highway. So you're getting double the benefit. You're getting the faster, better technology or a better efficiency with Wi-Fi 6. And then on top of this, Wi-Fi 6E is giving you that completely new highway where you can connect more devices and get the best speeds. Thanks for explaining. That was a lot of information though. Quad band, Wi-Fi 6E, what other improvements or enhancements are there with this quad band Orbi? Yeah, so we spoke about um, faster and faster internet speeds being available from our service providers, right? So internet service providers, um, we're already seeing gigabit or more than a gigabit speeds. And we thought with this system, we want to future-proof you a little longer in terms of making sure that we make your system, make your RB system capable of supporting the fastest internet speed that is available today or in the foreseeable future. So we uh, enhanced our internet ethernet port from a 2.5 gig that is there on the current top of the line RB, the RBK850, to a 10 gigabit. To make sure that you can get the best speeds from your internet provider that is available today or in the future. Wow, that's definitely very nice. But that's not all. We have also upgraded on the LAN side. We have added a multi-gig 2.5 ethernet port. Not only on the router, but also on the satellite. So, just in case, if you have structured cabling in your home, and you want to use that, you can actually use that to have a multi-gig wired connection between the router and the satellite. So you not only have that big, thick 10 gigabit pipe, which is coming inside the home, you now have an option of a dedicated wireless backhaul connection or a wired connection using the 2.5 gigabit port. Of course, this 2.5 gig port can also be used to connect your shared storage, like a NAS drive and so on. I can definitely see the benefit in that. Um, what else is new, with, like especially with the software improvements? So we added some additional Wi-Fi networks. Typically, a mesh system has one Wi-Fi network, which is a common Wi-Fi network for uh, different bands, and then or you connect all your devices to it, and then you have a guest. With Orbi, Quad Band Orbi, the RBK960 series, we actually have four different Wi-Fi networks. So the two, two new Wi-Fi networks that we've added, one is the IoT Wi-Fi network, so this is really for your smart home devices. So all your smart home devices typically are low bandwidth, they are constantly pinging the cloud, and may or may not be always the most secure. So um, it makes sense to basically keep them in a separate Wi-Fi network. 
different from your main home mesh network. So this IoT Wi-Fi network gives you that flexibility as the consumer to basically make sure that you can distribute those devices the best way that you think fit and get the best performance, get the best uh, uh, security for your home network. So what about the fourth wireless network? Yeah, so the fourth wireless network is a Wi-Fi 6E only. So Wi-Fi 6E, as I said, is the new um, uh, Wi-Fi spectrum that's available, the 6 gigahertz spectrum that's available. And you might have the latest devices like the Samsung Galaxy S21, which supports Wi-Fi 6E, or you might have a laptop that supports Wi-Fi 6E, and you want to make sure that you're getting the best performance with these devices. And you can connect them to the dedicated Wi-Fi 6E network to make sure that you're not steered to the 2.4 and 5 gigahertz. So this is our way to make sure that some of our customers who want to always be connected in the Wi-Fi 6E network, we're giving them that flexibility. And that's the whole idea of having these different bands, is allowing you to distribute your devices into different networks to get the best performance, to get the best security. That sounds great. Um, I want this product. So how do I install this? Very simple. Uh, there's an app, RB app, which is available, so you can download it on your phone, and it will walk you step by step in terms of installation. Uh, it's very simple in terms of installation. You have a QR code on front of it, and you just scan the QR code using the app, and it will connect the phone to your Wi-Fi on the router, and that will walk you by step by step in terms of setting up your Wi-Fi network, installing your satellite, and you'll be up and running in five minutes. Wow, that sounds very easy. I think I can do that. So after installation, what can I do with the Orbi app? So it's a great tool to manage your home network. So um, it tells you how you connected to the internet, um, what devices are connected to the internet. So anytime a new device connects, it will alert me and let me know that new, this new device connected on the home internet. If I want to set up a guest Wi-Fi, uh, my kids' friends are at home and I want, don't want to share my home Wi-Fi address with them, I can basically turn on my guest Wi-Fi remotely. Um, a firmware upgrade is available or a firmware upgrade is done. I get a notification that this is done. So it's an easy way for me to understand what's happening to my home network, take some actions. And all this can be done whether you're inside home or you're outside. So you can always have all this information available on your phone with just clicking on the RB app and getting a status of your home network and take any action that you need. That sounds awesome, especially when I can manage my home network from anywhere. What about protecting my home from cybersecurity threats? Yeah, so um, that's clearly is an issue with uh, as we become more and more connected, as we have more devices in the home that uh, are always connected to the cloud, uh, it's a key concern to make sure that I keep my home protected, I keep all my uh, uh, data protected and all my critical information protected. Netcare offers one of the most comprehensive cybersecurity solution with a service called Arma. It's a subscription service that is available and it basically protects your entire connected home network. It forms a protective bubble around your home to make sure that all devices are, uh, you're protected against any kind of a cybersecurity threats or any kind of issues or vulnerabilities on your, on your home network. Uh, makes an inventory of all the devices in your home network and will tell you Specifically, like if you haven't changed the default username and password for your smart switches and so on, it'll tell you. Or if it finds an issue, you suddenly receive an email that has got a phishing email and it talks about, hey, your Amazon account is blocked and everything. And by mistake, you click on it, it immediately block those and send you a notification on your phone to tell you that there was an issue with this particular website, with this particular device, and it blocked it. And so it's like having that front door lock on your home that ensures, that protects the access to your entire home. So now that you have the router with the security software, you basically are assured that if any of the devices in the home network try to access a rogue website, the router will block it and will actually send you a notification on the RB app to tell you which device, what was the website, and why it was blocked. That definitely gives me peace of mind. So I hear that there's one more service on the Orbi. Can you tell me what that is? Yeah, it's a smart parental control. So it's a great solution for parents to manage their kids and to monitor in terms of how they're spending their time on the internet. Easy steps, you we basically set up a profile for each kid, associate all their devices with them. So it's like your phone, your laptop, your Xbox, and then you will be able to look at how they have been using the internet. 
by application or by category. So I can look at it and see how much time was spent on TikTok, how much time was spent on, uh, um, on Facebook, or even in terms of categories like how much time was spent online gaming. And that becomes a discussion with the child to say, is this how you want to spend your time? And it's not the parent and then enforcing it. It's basically the device then telling you, hey, you said you will play for two hours and after that time is up. So it's, it's, it's really building those digital habits on how the kids can focus on key tasks and making sure that they are building these capabilities to manage themselves. Not necessarily in terms of controlling them, but more in terms of building those skill sets that I think will be extremely useful as we will be more and more connected going forward. Parental controls sound great, especially during the pandemic with the shift to digital learning. So that was a lot of information. Can you put it into a quick summary for me? Yes, yeah, so um, when we started developing this product, I think the intention was to have a no compromise solution to make sure that we get the best Wi-Fi and the best uh, mesh performance from the system. And that's what we're trying to do with uh, the quad band to make sure that we support the latest Wi-Fi 6E technology. But supporting that without reducing or compromising on the performance at all. Making sure that you get the best performance across all your devices, making sure that you get the same gigabit performance that you're getting from your one end of the house to the other end, make sure that you get the same capabilities and the same performance across all these devices. We also upgraded the Ethernet port from to 10 gigabits to future proof you. You have the 2.5 gig on the router and on the satellite to make sure that you can have flexibility in terms of a backhaul connectivity, a wired backhaul connectivity. And then you have the software enhancements in terms of making sure that you get the best performance with RB app, easy installation, armor for the cybersecurity, uh, smart panel control, all bundled in as part of a single solution to give you the best experience as a customer. Thank you for the quick summary. So one last thing. I hear there's a rumor going around that there's a different Orbi color. Yes, we have a Orbi being introduced in black color. It's a limited edition that will be available exclusively on netgear.com. So we're listening to our customers who have been telling us that they wanted Orbi in a different color that would match their home decor. So now you have an option to buy Orbi in white or in black. I'll definitely look forward to that because black definitely matches my room better. Thank you, Sandeep, again for your time today and for sharing the details of the new industry's first quad band Wi-Fi 6E mesh system. For more information, check out the link below. Thanks for watching. Thank you.